Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So 2020 was an unexpected year, but I've been saying that God has brought so many unexpected blessings as well. And today in this video, this is the last real talk of 2020. Making big decisions. So this year I had quite a few big decisions that either I had to make or that resulted into fruit because I made them. And so I just want to share two verses that I've loved ever since I was a child and just break it down a little bit with you guys and share my testimony this year on how I made these decisions and how I'm making and going through these decisions and transitioning that into 2021. So the verses are found in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Trust. It's not something easily done. It's not something easily given. And it's not something that someone else can do for you. Trust comes with your choice, choosing to give this valuable thing to someone that you believe is trustworthy or to someone that you've already had such a close and intimate relationship with that it just comes along with the relationship that you can trust the person. And it says trust in the Lord. That's like first a very comforting statement for me where I can trust the Lord. And it also comes as an encouragement and a command where you have to choose to trust the Lord. He's not gonna force you. God is love and his love is perfect. And it doesn't always come the way we want. And so he's not going to force you to do things. He wants you to choose to do things with him. And so trust in the Lord. And two, this word was mentioned twice, rather. All. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and in all your ways submit to him. All meaning everything you are. It's not always going to make sense. The book that I published this year is called Puzzled Without You. And it's separated into two parts. If you want to watch the full video on that journey, go ahead and watch it. The first part is, if the world was a puzzle, it would be missing a piece without you. The second part is, if our lives were puzzles, they would be missing a piece without God. Because God is the only one who can see the full picture of everything. We can only see pieces and bits at a time. For those of you who have seen what it's like to be in space and looking at the world and you see like the whole world or maybe even just being on an airplane and you look down and just see everything god sees things like that except way bigger and we don't so when you trust in the lord with all our heart and submit our all to him that's basically saying god i'm leaving all of this in your hands i trust you you are trustworthy. You are God. It says Lord and Lord as in he is Lord over our lives. He is sovereign. He is great. He holds the whole world in his hands. I mean, I would trust him rather than myself who makes a lot of mistakes and doesn't know everything, right? So um, basically, I just wanted to share a few little decisions, big decisions that I had to make this year. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. So um, first, I am in college taking a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Now, I had given up the dream and the hope and stopped praying about going to college in America because for those of you who don't know, I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, and even though you don't think of it as, think of it, as a child, um, it just seemed to like be part of the future where I would go to college there until the news dropped that we were moving to the other side of the world, back to the Philippines. So throughout the years of being in the Philippines, I always hoped and thought that I could go back to America, but long story short, I accepted the reality that I'm taking up Bachelor of Science in Psychology in the University of Mindanao. I honestly had no expectations, so God basically bested whatever expectations I had, and I had a great first year. I got out of my comfort zone, I grew a lot, and I even um, had a new life group with some college friends, and I thought that was it. So this year when everything changed, we joined a few conferences, July came and God basically dropped this new blessing of Oral Roberts University emailing me about a scholarship. And I was like, 
that's the new school, that's my new dream school because I saw it in the Empower 21 conference and I don't really think I can go there. But then God dropped that email and we applied, nothing to lose. And I ended up taking up psych in two universities for a first semester of this year. So August to December, I was taking up psych in two universities and then I knew the question would come soon, but I didn't know how soon it would come because so far it was fine. But then a few weeks ago, I had to make the decision of which school to choose. So um, if you guys haven't watched the first episode to Surviving College, you can watch it. I kind of explained it there, I think. Um, basically, I'm going to be going to Oral Roberts University for the rest of my college life. Not exactly what I had planned when I started out college. I always thought that I would be in the same course, in the same college throughout the four years, but in the middle, I'm shifting colleges, which is definitely not what I had planned. But because this is something from the Lord, then I know I just have to go with it. And I'm going to tell you how I made that decision and this next decision. So um, a few days ago, I was lying down in bed and God put the word podcast on my heart. And I was like, God, I kind of thought we talked about having a podcast when I had a bigger reach and things were more steady. Like I just published my first book officially and I do not discredit my Wattpod authorship, but this is an official book. So I'm officially an author and I'm doing YouTube videos. I'm blogging. I was taking up two schools at once. We do ministry things like God. I wanted to start a podcast when things are a bit, you know, more stable and there were more people. And God was like, why are you waiting for that when I'm here right now? Like, aren't you doing all this for me? And aren't I the one who actually empowers and speaks and flows my spirit through what you do? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's so true. You are Lord. You are God. You are the reason why I do these things and you're the one who amplifies and expands and extends everything that I say, everything that I do, it's all for you. So yeah, that makes so much more sense. Like I should, yeah, okay, if you want me to start a podcast, I'm going to start it. And so that is ongoing. Get ready for January 2021, y'all. If you guys listen to podcasts, then get ready to subscribe and join along that podcast. But anyway, how did I become so certain in making these decisions. So first, show up every single day and do not disregard the small steps. If you want to reach the end of the staircase and you have to take each small step, if you skip steps, you still reach the end, but you miss out on certain lessons and valuable memories, if that makes sense. So entrusting the Lord with all your heart that's trusting him in the everyday things. And I don't know about you guys, but it's hard to give your all over something that you haven't like experienced to be proven to be trustworthy. <laughs> like it's the everyday growing in a relationship with God that makes you fall in love with him more and more and trust him more and more every single day. So show up in the everyday. Let God speak to you through his word, through time with him to just give you revelations in the every single day so that when you make decisions that are bigger, you're already so filled with him in his presence on your own that you could know, when, because you see, when you spend time with someone, you're more familiar with that person's voice. You're more familiar with that person's presence. And it's the same thing with God. When you spend time with him, more time with him, you're more familiar with him. Like for me, um, one word that I could give on how confident I am on these things that I've done this year and making these decisions is peace. Peace that the world cannot give because it has no, it has like no capabilities of giving that kind of peace. Only God does. So feeling that kind of peace and his presence, I know that I'm supposed to do this because it's so familiar and I trust God. God. And even if you don't feel it, you just know that by faith, when God leads you somewhere, that's where he wants you to go. He wants you to go on this straight path. Even if the straight path goes through valleys and mountains and deserts and oceans, it's a straight path leading to you living out your purpose. And so show up every day. Second is surround yourself with the right people, the right environment, community, wise counsel. In Psalm 1, it says that you have to walk in that like you live 
with people who are wise, not by people's wisdom, but by God's wisdom. I personally have that, thankfully, through, through my parents first. My parents are not just my parents. My mom is actually my spiritual leader, so it's like a two-in-one kind of thing. And when you're surrounded by people like that, like when I, way before I had to make these decisions, I was already opening up and sharing to my parents about every little thing that happened. So when the, when the time came to make the decision, we were already just gathering basically everything that we talked about before and just laying it all out, looking at all the angles and then praying about it. So when you're surrounded by people, you not only have that individual peace and assurance from God, but you also have affirmation and the assurance from other people because God also uses other people to bless and speak into our lives. So those two like come hand in hand, you know? And so that's, those two are like the big things that really help me in making these decisions. So put God first and spend time with him and then spend intentional time with the people that God has put in your life that help you grow. If it's not your biological family, then it's your spiritual family. If you don't have that connection, pray and ask God and ask some friends around like to point you in that direction because there are always people that God has waiting to help you and to lead you and to affirm what God is putting on your heart. So basically, choose to trust in the Lord who is sovereign over all. With all your heart, don't hold back, go all in. And lean not on your own understanding because you are human and imperfect. And though you can be a really smart person, you cannot know everything and only God does. And in all your ways, submit to him, humble yourself down and let him be acknowledged and glorified in your life. And he will make your path straight to the purpose that he has for you, the plan and the hope for your future, even if it goes through the hardest times and it goes through the most confusing moments of your life. If it's a straight path given to you by God, then it's straight and it's led by him. I don't know about you, but I'd rather be led by God than led by anything else in the world. I'd rather be led by his presence, even if I don't feel it all the time, than any other presence in the world because God is my God. Personally, the first 20 years of my life, there's just been so much that God has done. In traveling alone, God has opened my eyes and given me so many life lessons throughout the whole world in different places. And he's just shown me over and over again how I can trust him. He's worthy of it. He's worthy of all praise, honor, and glory, and he deserves and he should have my trust because there's no other person. Honestly, I was just thinking about this the other day. Like, God, I trust you and I want to lay my whole life to you. And I do. I lift all my dreams and plans and goals and prayers to you because I can't do that on my own. I don't have the power to work everything out for my good. God does that. And if I can't do it, nobody else in the world can. Only God does that. And so... Wherever you are right now, whatever prayers are on your heart, whatever decisions that you have to make, small or big, spend intentional time with God. Don't just include him in your prayer life or in your, not prayer life, don't just include him in your schedule and be like, okay, God, you're open for slot um, 1 to 1.30 p.m. and that's it. Let him be a part of your day. Include him in your situation. I love that song by Jonathan McReynolds, Situation, where God, I don't want things to happen my way or your way. That's not my focus. My focus is to involve you in every decision that I make. So as we end 2020 and as we envision things for 2021, let's put God first. Let's trust in the Lord with all that we are and go on the path that he's marked out for us. So stay safe, keep praying, and God.